Welcome back to Homesick. I've read pretty much all the notes that I can find up here on the top floor, so let's go down and see what there is to read down here. And I know there's still some puzzle stuff I need to do here as well. I think I need to fill this thing up with water and then use the bucket to collect the water. Because right now I I can try, but it, yeah, it looks like the water just isn't high enough to get any water out of it. And then of course, just like before, I need to dump the water on these flowers to make them alive again. Oh. I didn't realize I could pick these up. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Some sort of a statue pillar puzzle, perhaps? Hmm. I guess I can, like, swap them? This one's missing a head. Guess I'll just collect them all. Might as well. Uh, can I put it down? It doesn't seem like I can. I guess I'll just put that one there for now. Yeah, and there's a bunch more statues. Well, by a bunch more, I guess I mean one. <laughs> Alright, let's leave them there for now and see what there is to read. Plans for more company housing unveiled. Plans were announced to build more company housing throughout the region. Industry executives tout the existing housing as a success, claiming it enabled large-scale migration of workers to the area. Similar to the existing company housing, the new buildings will have indoor amenities, so occupants can spend more time indoors to avoid breathing outdoor air pollution. Oh, so that's why this place has the indoor gymnasium? Because that pollution is so bad they don't even want you going outside? Oh my god. Announcement. The schedule for evacuation drills has been increased. Evacuation drills will now be held once a month. These drills are mandatory for safety purposes. Okay. I don't have a key, right? I think I... Well, that's not gonna work, right? No. Alright, so there's actually not that much to read down here. So I guess I just need to do something with the statue heads. Like, put them in a certain order, I guess? But how am I supposed to know what order to put them in? Like, I have no idea. Like, I could just trial and error it, I guess, but I'd really prefer not to. Um, maybe I just need to fill up this room. Let's just put all the statue heads in here. Maybe that's it. I'm not sure how many I have and if it's the right number to fill up that room, but perhaps. Okay, did something magically happen? No? Damn. Do I have any more heads? No, that's it. Hmm. Could there be statues upstairs that I've missed? I don't remember seeing any statues. I don't know. I kind of want to just trial and error it, because there can't be that many combinations. 
Let me think about this a bit and, and uh, try some stuff and I'll be right back. Well, I messed around for a couple minutes and then I got to thinking. This game's puzzles have not treated me very well in the past. And they've often frustrated me and wasted my time, so I thought, hmm, you know what? I'm not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk getting super frustrated by, like, beating my head against a wall for a half hour trying to find something. So I just looked at a walkthrough. And it turns out what you're supposed to do is simply throw the statues into the water to, I guess, displace the water and make it rise up enough so that you can get it with the bucket. Apparently. Yeah. So that is what you're supposed to do. Um, I would just like to point out that, as you can see right now, the water is... Well, it wasn't very deep to begin with, granted. It was maybe like one or two inches. Like one or... probably like two inches of water deep. So it wasn't super deep, and sure, you wouldn't be able to fill up the bucket completely, or even half full. You wouldn't be able to get that much water into the bucket. However, if you look at the... just look in here, you can see that, like, this whole thing is only maybe a foot deep. So, displacing the water so that you can kind of, like, the bucket can reach the water. Y you could have reached the water before. I mean, sure, by displacing it, I guess you can get more water in one pailful, sure. But you could have reached the water before. And you could have gotten a small amount and poured that on the plants, and then if you needed more, you know, just collect it like two or three more times or something. It's like, it's not like you couldn't reach the water, it just would have been slightly inconvenient. However, the fact that I have to throw these statues in is absurd because you know what's more inconvenient than the slight inconvenience of reaching over this rim and filling up your bucket like three or four times? What's more inconvenient is taking statues from around the room and tossing them in. That's even more inconvenient. That doesn't really make any sense. There. You lazy bastard. I don't know, maybe the story justification for that is that you have a knee problem and you can't bend over or something? Uh, I think I'm at the end of the game, so I'm guessing whatever's about to happen is probably not going to be pleasant. Alright, let's see. Uh, unless I just axe down the front door, that might be it. Do I keep going? I can keep going. Yeah, there's an invisible wall. That's weird, usually opening up a door ends the nightmare. And the nasty stuff doesn't even seem to be coming for me. Um, I need to get back to the other world. How do I do that? I don't know what that is floating in there. What is that? Is it the statues? But it seems to only be one statue if it is. And there was a bunch of statues I put in there. Hmm. Uh, oh yeah, you know what, there's another door here that's locked. Maybe I need to break that down, too. Yeah, this one? There we go.
a mirror. That's the first time I've ever seen myself? What the hell? Was that actually me? Was that actually me? If it is, then I'm hideously deformed. How could I even be alive if I look like that? <sighs> then he yawns as if he's just tired and then needs a nap or something. Lawsuit prevailed requiring posting of impacts. Public notices of the negative health impacts that would be caused by a failure to escape in an actual evacuation are required, according to the ruling issued today by the Federal Appeals Court for the 12th Circuit. In this case brought, in this case brought by an environmental organization, the court ruled that federal law does indeed require posting public notice listing the impacts in newspaper publications and inside residential buildings. The negative impacts include coma, sensitivity to sunlight, oh, muscle weakness, memory loss, melting and bubbling of the skin, and necrosis. So that's me, isn't it? Negative health impacts that would be caused by a failure to escape in an actual evacuation. So because I didn't escape an evacuation, that's why I'm suffering from these things? I don't quite understand. How could such an extreme thing happen because I didn't evacuate? Evacuate what? Like some sort of chemical contamination or something? Okay, so coma, that's why I was asleep. Sensitivity to sunlight, that's why I can't walk into sunlight. Uh, muscle weakness, that's why he's tired all the time. Uh, I guess that's why, oh, that's why he couldn't lift the, the fire axe, right? Uh, melting and bubbling of the skin, check. Well, if I'm sensitive to sunlight, then... Am I just gonna, like, die when I go outside? <laughs> I mean... I guess I don't have a choice. Oh, I yeah, I, I still can't go outside. So... Where does that leave me? Am I stuck in here? I've broken it down and made it so I can escape. He sounds tired. Can I go to sleep again? Yeah, he can't leave, can he? The front door's open, but he can't leave. Just beautiful. This game is so beautiful.
Oh, so there we go. I guess some final thoughts just to sum it up. As far as what's happening in the story, it seems to be a place that is has some incredibly harmful um, industrial production when it comes to producing energy. Just incredibly bad for the environment and for the people that live there. And it seems like they're still receiving subsidies from the government for some reason, and there was corruption where they're actually breaking laws, but... Oh hey, there's my name there. I just... Yeah, I just saw my name there, Total Game Freak. I thought it'd be my actual name, though, not my username. Because Total Game Freak's like my old username. Obviously my actual name is Marshall Dyer. I don't like Total Game Freak anymore, it's old and immature. But hey, I'm in the credits! I saw myself in the Kickstarter credits, yay! My life is complete. Um, anyway, what was I saying? I totally lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so it seems like they were even, not only was it just bad for the environment and being supported by, and also being supported by the government in ruining the environment and the lives of the people around there, uh, but they're actually even breaking laws, too. And people were thinking about speaking up, but it looked like nobody actually had at the time. Nobody had actually made that step and spoken up. Even though it looks like the previous uh, manager was thinking about it, but never did, and then the new one was thinking about it, but as far as we know, never did. And then I guess it's a... You get to uh, look around at and get little insights into the lives of some of the people that live there. Again, back to the question of who you are, though. I mean, because of that picture, I I'm guessing you're... Either the adopted child, or perhaps the child that was being um, babysat by that woman. The, the neighbor's child that that woman was babysitting. Perhaps. Obviously grown up, because you saw your reflection in the mirror and you were an adult. Um, I'm not quite sure. Or maybe it doesn't even really matter. I'm not sure if it really matters who you were. But something happened. There was an evacuation. Um, and obviously you didn't get out, and you suffered the bad effects that happened because of that, with the horrible blisters and everything on the skin, weakness, sensitivity to sunlight, and I mean, given what I saw in the mirror, I don't think you could live long after that, so I'm guessing... I think, I think you died, perhaps, if you, I think maybe as you went down to sleep, I think that was maybe your final sleep. Oh god, I think it was. That was, wasn't it? I think all of your energy was used up to do everything that you did, and finally bust down the door only to find out that you don't have the strength, or the health to even walk outside. And then you go to sleep, and <laughs> that's it. You know, I wish I didn't think it through and realize that I'm pretty sure you just died at the end of the game, because now it's even more sad. Not that you would have lived anyway, even if you... Even if I didn't think you just died and went to sleep forever, right at the end of the game. Obviously, you wouldn't have lived long after that, but still. <sighs> this game is so depressing, oh my god. I mean, it ended with, uh, apparently, happiness inside of your, your mind as you drifted off to death. At least there's happiness, there was... You know, there was sunlight. You were in the sun, and there was sunlight and you were basking in it, and there was green everywhere and flowers and life, but... Still, oh my god. Oh, that is so depressing. <laughs> now I'm just crying. Well, how's that for an end summary? 
<laughs> I thought so, bu so much about the story, it made me cry. <laughs> um, aside from that, what else is there to say? Uh, let's see, it's, it's incredibly beautiful. It's, it's one of those beauty in, in decay, um, kind of things where it's, it's not beautiful because it's, you know, super colorful or something like that, but everything's falling apart. But everything falling apart and rotting and rusting has been captured with such an incredible amount of detail that it ends up becoming kind of beautiful again. The environments are really spectacularly good looking, even if they are mostly gray. It's really, really, really beautiful. Uh, the music is also great. Wonderful, wonderful piano music. Sometimes it comes in at awkward moments. <laughs> uh, but... But the music is really good. Uh, puzzles? Not so good. A lot of the design of the game, as I've talked about before, often pretty frustrating and unclear and murky and uh, really, really tedious in a lot of ways, too. Pretty tedious. But uh, overall, it's a really interesting game, and I'm glad I played it. Like, it's one of those games that, in terms of just the overall feeling of, like, the overall experience of playing with it, the overall experience of interacting with it is not great. It's very simple and often tedious and just not super well polished in kind of the overall gameplay. But it's got visuals going for it, it's got sound going for it, and it's got a, a pretty well developed story, too. It's kind of, the pacing's kind of weird, though. You know, because you don't really get to know anything about this, almost anything about the story, until like two thirds through the game. You know, once you finally are able to decrypt all the notes, that's really the only opportunity you have to really understand the story to any significant degree. Before then, you just would have to completely guess. So it's a little bit of a strange way to kind of dole out the story. It's kind of like an info dump, you know? It's like no story, no story, no story, and then suddenly all the story. <laughs> Suddenly, too much story. So, it feels like an imbalanced, you know, kind of often tedious, awkward... It's it's a pretty awkward game, but it's very interesting. And it's beautiful, and I'm really glad I played it. Yeah. I really like it, despite all the frustrations. And it was really, really frustrating. But I like it. Alright, so thank you very much for joining me on my journey through Homesick. I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching.